Quebec Provincial Police are investigating a tragic accident in a rural community. It happened last night. It's about 55 kilometers or so southeast of Montreal. Three children were killed and seven other people were injured in an accident involving a farm tractor. The children who died are all under the age of five. Police say no other vehicles were involved. We've got CBC's Kate McKenna at the site of that deadly incident. What else are you learning, Kate? Sue Anna, this is where uh, the events took place yesterday evening. Uh, provincial police here in Quebec were on the scene for most of the night trying to determine exactly what happened. So around 7 o'clock last night, uh, there was a man driving a tractor, and police say he had 10 people inside the bucket of his tractor, including uh, four children. And for some reason, they're, they're not sure exactly why at this point, but the people fell out of the tractor, and unfortunately, uh, the tractor ran over either some or all of them. Uh, so as a result, as you mentioned, three children under the age of five have died uh, and two adults are in critical condition. Now police have arrested the uh, the driver of the tractor. He's a 28 year old man. Uh, they do believe that alcohol might have had a role in what happened. Uh, he is set to be charged uh, formally this this afternoon. Suena. Now, this uh, place, Notre Dame de Stanbridge, it's a small community, right, Kate? I'm wondering what the reaction is there. That's right. So this is a very small, very rural community. Uh, we're, on, we're on a road that's kind of lined by farms. But I went into the village earlier this morning to talk with people who say that they have been uh, glued to their radios and their televisions this morning waiting to hear more because, you know, there aren't that many families that live here. Um, and uh, so the people I've been speaking with said they're beyond sad uh, that they're very nervous to find out who is involved in this uh, because mm -hmm. uh, they say that there is a very good chance that they'll know who they are. I want to ask you something else. Maybe you know the answer, maybe you don't. But is it is it par for the course to, you know, transport people in that manner? You know, some small communities, they put kids in the back of trucks and stuff like that. They, they shouldn't be there, but I don't know. It's an interesting question. Uh, it's kind of actually something that uh, myself and another camera operator were talking about this morning. Um, I'm from a rural place, uh, and yes, that, it, it's common. It's like, you know, yesterday was Canada Day. Mm -hmm. They were probably, I don't want to speculate too much, but they were probably having a great night. Um, where I'm from, you know, it's not that uncommon to put little kids in buckets of tractors and, and drive around a little bit for, for fun. Is it a good idea? Uh, clearly, it is not a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's it's certainly not the first time I've heard of something like this happening. Yeah, because for our audience in the city, in the big cities, uh, you know, you wouldn't even consider that. I mean, any of the streets in Toronto, for example, it, it would be really odd to see that. But I'm wondering if it's not so odd in a rural community, as you've just mentioned, right? Well, yeah, to that point, um, when I was a kid, I drove a tractor before I drove a car. Right. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's not uncommon, you know. Uh, it's not uncommon. Unfortunately, in this case, the results were beyond yes. tragic. Um, but, uh, you know, there aren't very many people around here. Um, if they were just having fun, I, I can understand how it might have happened. Kate, we'll be watching this story closely. It is a tragic one, and I'm glad you're in the area to speak with people. That's CBC's Kate McKenna and Notre Dame de Stanbridge.